asking this question a lot. Hey David, how you do the Asian accent? Now, I personally don't know if I should give you all this power because I taught one man how to do it and he just won't stop doing it all the time. Apparently, when one white boy does it, it's like the most hilarious thing on earth and Asian women just flock to him like a moth to a flame. Dude, man, you look so good. Oh my god, he's ethnic. In today's Asian accent lesson, we are going to learn how to do a Korean one. Oh, he's a good one. Step one, misplace the word the anywhere you can. For some reason to Korean people, the word the is like the hardest word to place in a sentence. And because we can't figure out where to put the word the, the whole sentence gets messed up like a train wreck in the process. For example, in English. Can you pass the fork, please? In Korea. Please, the poker, can you pass to me? Step number two. Three letters Korean people can't pronounce. F, L, and V. The F turns into a P, L turns into an R, and the V turns into a B. If you ever wanted to piss off a Korean person you just met, just introduce yourself with a name that has all those letters in it. Hey, what's up? How's it going? My name is, um, Vivian Flawless Falafel. Oh, that's a, uh, Vivian Flawless Pitiper? Shibat. Step number three! When in doubt, add a ridiculous amount of syllables to your words. For some damn reason, we always add extra syllables to a word that need be. For example, in English. Excuse me. In Korean. Excuse to me. Step number four. When in doubt, add an ing to a word every now and then. For example, in English, Hello, I have a big problem. In Korean, I have a big problem. Step number five, end any word with a typical sound of Ugh, and place the word with the letter S at the end of a word anytime you want. What do I mean by that? In English, Good luck, friend. I hope you have a better day. In Korean, Good luck, friend. I hope you have a better day, sir. And finally, step six. Add a random loud exhale with the word ta in front of any sentence. In English, hey buddy, long time no see. In Korean, yeah, buddy, it's a long time no see. And that's about it, folks. Just remember to jumble all your words together and bastardize the English language, and you should be good to go. Just remember these tips, and as fast as you can say kimchi, you'll be talking just like this. Yeah, I have to hear from the Pibians that the prince is actually not the amazing Christ River. Yeah, that's crazy. <gasps> Praise the Jesus. Ladies, prepare yourself. Mm. <laughs>